looks like a drinking straw, right? But the butterfly and moth proboscis, or mouse structure, is no simple sipper. And for material scientist Kostya Kornev, it's nothing short of a bio-inspiration. In a single fiber, you have everything. You have sensors, you have transport system, so that the material can be, uh, the liquids can be moved uh, through that fiber. Okay, and the fiber performance is incredible. With support from the National Science Foundation, Kornev and a team at Clemson University want to know more about how the proboscis works in order to make synthetic fibers with similar properties. So the butterfly can coil and coil proboscis million, million times during adult life. Eventually, they want to build a proboscis-like microsiphon or probe Using capillary action through channels and pores, it would suck up or dispense tiny drops of fluid. Such a device would have wide-ranging applications, like new medical tools. So you can think about even poking the single cell, taking a little droplet from, say, the nucleus, or if you can go to the brain and do the surgery on the brain. When you get a black swallowtail, for butterfly and moth expertise, he turned to entomologist Peter Adler. They want to better understand how the proboscis develops. The proboscis begins to form in the pupa. The insect has to transform from a caterpillar, which has no proboscis, it has uh, very uh, hard mandibles. So it has to transform to a butterfly that essentially loses its mandibles and instead, from other structures, forms this long tube-like proboscis. Kornev and his team do tests in their lab to understand the proboscis properties. They found it works both like a straw and a sponge, and its surface properties make it self-cleaning. No sticky residue can gum up the works. It's actually made of two tubes that can come apart but naturally come back together, so self-repairing. Now we are interested how that fiber is organized. Is it possible to break the fibers apart and then bring them together on their own? Can butterfly uh, do that? And it appears that it can. He says the challenge is to understand how the proboscis evolved in butterflies and moths over millions of years, then recreate that structure and performance in a man-made fiber. If you would be able to produce the fibers on demand, just a little piece of uh, material which could uh, have all the sensors, uh, all these uh, mechanical devices, uh, all these probing devices in one unit, that would be terrific. Kornev is confident they will figure it out. With hard work, even challenging goals can take flight. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.